Hey, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Shilpa and in this video, I am going to be swatching the Creative Studio Watercolors from Paper Castle. Now I came across this set on Amazon and the reason I purchased it is because I found the colors to be very interesting. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is to unbox this and show you guys what all you get in this set. So here we go. And okay. <laughs> um, they have included this eco pen, which is basically your pen, which is water resistant in black. In here are the colors. These are the warm ones. And uh, these are the ones which are cooler. You also have a palette in here and a brush size number six. It has a pretty nice point to it. And here is the booklet with the specifications on it, which I did not read, obviously. All I was interested was in these 24 colors uh, in this set. Really beautiful colors. So here I'm just preparing the swatch card and you really need to allow it to completely dry before you start swatching and painting on it. All the colors came properly sealed, which is a really good thing, obviously. And... Um, I made these dark lines on uh, the swatch card to check the transparency uh, of the colors just in case you were wondering. Uh, I found these colors to be very vibrant and very different from the regular colors that you receive in a watercolor set usually. For the price it's really really reasonable and it flows and blooms quite well and is very low staining which for me personally is a good thing. Like I said, you really need to allow the pen to dry because uh, I wasn't able to swatch on that block. So I'm going to move on to the next one. I wanted to swatch these colors properly so that you can get a clear idea of the colors. Because basically I bought these, uh, this set for the colors. After swatching, I'm also going to show you a negative painting I created using these colors. I think it's a really good beginner friendly watercolor set even for students and um, as you can see the colors are so beautiful and bright i absolutely love them so after i've swatched them i'm going to allow it to completely dry to check for the transparency and uh, yeah so uh, right now i'm going to put on some good music and finishing the swatching part and come back when i have to speak about anything later
and finally these colors have all dried up now and you can see the black coming through most of them so these are transparent colors just the levels are very different for each color um, and uh, yeah you can see some uh, color over the black that means it's a bit less transparent but most of them are all uh, transparent the warm gray and cool gray were not very transparent as you can see anyways thank you so much for watching my video and uh, do leave a like and of course your subscription will be precious click on the notification bell if you want to be updated on my new upcoming videos moving on to the painting part